Hello, hello guys, this is Aeris Cheese God with another video. Okay guys, biggest news of ever for my YouTube channel. I'm about to pass 1,000 subscribers, so that does not mean you should start unsubscribing immediately to, you know, make sure I don't pass 1,000. That means keep on subscribing. I currently need 15 more subscribers in order to pass my 1,000 mark, so I would appreciate it if you guys could, you know, subscribe? Yeah? Okay. Well, um... Thank you guys so much. I mean, it's been so cool. I've had this YouTube channel for what three months, and it's exploded, especially in the past couple of weeks. With what I have 90,000 views now. That's so cool. Thank you guys. I also checked Social Blade recently. If you guys don't know, Social Blade is a website that has YouTube statistics, and um, they give future projections for YouTubers and what they could accomplish. So. My social blade, I checked, um, I've gotten about 600 subscribers in this month alone, which is insane. That is absolutely insane. And also, um, my projected growth, I'm supposed to get about 5.5 million views in five years. That seems like not too much, but that really is a lot considering I have 90,000 right now. So let's try to get the 10 million views in five years, okay? Let's just give that a shot. And we'll see how good that I works. I have a crap ton of shoutouts to give today. Um, I believe there are nine shoutouts, which is too much. So, I don't know. I may have to limit the shoutout amount to five, five per video. But we'll see, because I can handle this much. It's just, it takes a lot of the video to read all the shoutouts out, and that's unfortunate. But okay, I'll just read them all out, all the names. Number one is Cornelius Julian Martinez. Number two is Psychomaniac14. Number three is Mukal Nag. Number four is Amish Gupta LMS. Number five is Laser Beam YT. Number six is Ghosty. Number seven is Yash DIY. Number eight is McCann the Gamer. And number nine is Savage Wolf. If I pronounced any of these wrong, I'm sorry guys. Come on, I'm trying to help you out your channels. So if I say it wrong, then feel free to correct me, but don't don't bully me, okay? Don't, don't say I don't know how to pronounce, because I don't know. Oh well. Without further ado, let's, let's get right to the video. So today's video is how to make money fast in Asphalt 8. And by money, I don't mean tokens, I'm sorry. I guess you have to hack the game in order to get tokens fast. But by money, I mean credits. So the majority of cars in Asphalt 8 are credit purchases. About 70% of the cars are bought with credits. And sometimes, oh, a lot of times, people are like, oh my god, how do I get money fast without spending actual real money on the game? Well, I got your solutions. I picked five cars that have awesome farming races, and I am about to show you guys. So, okay guys, yeah, the next five cars are my favorite farming races that give me a crap ton of money. That's right. The car to take the number 5 spot today is the McLaren P1. Now, don't confuse this with the Class S P1 GTR. That's the GTR version. This is the regular version. Now, this car, I mean, obviously it's sexy, but like, this is the Season 9 race for this car, and it's on Dubai, which is, I believe, the shortest map in the entire game of Asphalt 8. So, it usually takes about, I don't know, uh, 55 seconds to complete this lap. And that's really fast. However, the only downside is the amount of credits you get is not extremely high. It's about 5,000 at most. And that might be a little too low for some of you guys. But it's still a lot. And there's not much traffic on Dubai, so the odds of wrecking aren't too high. And that is why this car makes the number 5 spot. The car to, to take the number 4 spot is the Donkavor DA GTO. I said in my previous videos, this is one of the Class D Kings, and for farming, it doesn't fail either. It is awesome, because it is on the map of Rio de Janeiro, which is, I believe, the second shortest lap in the entire game. Average lap time is about 60 seconds, and an upside is that there is not that much traffic. The amount of credits that are given are decently high. It is about, man, I mean, give or take, 5,500 credits. Which, if you farm for a couple of hours, you could become rich. Like, you could be a millionaire in a couple of hours. So, 
This car features quick acceleration, meaning that the lap is pretty short, and that's nice. This was my farming race before I got the cars that are in the next portion of this list. But I used this for a long time. It's my second most used car, I believe. So, yeah. Dumper board. Awesome choice for farming. Awesome way to make money fast. That is the number four spot. At the number three spot is the Aston Martin 177, which is also at Rio de Janeiro. Except this car is much, much, much faster than the Donker Vort by about 74 miles an hour, meaning that this car can finish the lap in 50 seconds or less, which is so, so, so fast. This car is really easy to handle too, so you don't have to worry about crashing into anything or slowing down. Like I said before, for the Donker Vort, there is not much traffic on this map, which is very nice. The car is also very sexy. I love it so, 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 so much. The average time to finish the lap, I already said, is 50 seconds, but the amount of money you get is extraordinary. It is actually about the same as the Donker Vort, but since this is a much quicker lap, the, the way of farming, I mean, you could get a lot more money. At the number two spot is my most used car in the game, the McLaren M14A. Now, this map, I believe, is the London Eye. It is, I don't know, the third shortest, or maybe it ties for the second shortest lap in the entire game. That's awesome. I didn't even completely pro this car. It's at rank 1369, and you can finish it in 60 seconds. It's so awesome. This car, I mean, the only downside really is that it was in a championship and not everyone won it because it was the first championship and nobody had any idea how to win a championship then. But it's a great car. I mean, uh, huge, huge, huge upside is that all the AIs in this race are at the lowest rank possible. This car starts at a rank of 985. All the AIs are at rank 985. Meaning that no matter what rank your car is, you will beat the AIs by miles. Like seriously, miles. You will win by such a huge amount, there's no way you can lose. You could wreck 25 times, you will still win. That is why this car gets the number 2 spot on this list. Love this car. At the number 1 spot is the very affordable Lycan Hypersport. Well, by affordable, I mean 550,000 credits. This is actually challenge 15, meaning you have to max and pro the car entirely, but it's completely worth it. Because you know how for some races in challenge 15, or most races, it's always flawless? Well, for this race, it's unplugged, so there is no nitrous, but that means if you wreck, you can still win. The AIs in this race take the long route of Dubai, meaning that you could beat the AIs by miles. If you wreck once or twice, it's fine. Now, um... You can finish the race in about 45 seconds, which is so, so, so fast. You could become a millionaire for Asphalt 8 in like an hour and a half. I don't think I did that math correctly. But something awesome happened in this race, so I hit a bus, and then I kind of did a flip um, and a barrel roll, and that was so sick. Uh, yeah, that was insane. So, it is such a great car. Sexy, good at handling. Awesome at everything, you need to pro this car and max it. That is the number one spot on our list. The amount of credits you get in this race are at least 6,000. Do the math. With double credits, that's 12,000 credits per race. That's insane! Like, that is so, so, so cool, and my voice just cracked, but that is so, so, so cool! That is the Lycan Hypersport for you! Thank you guys so, so much for paying attention to that video. I hope to help you guys a lot. I will try to answer all comments that you give me in the comment sections below, even though it's getting a little bit hard because I'm getting so many comments. So I will try to answer all the comments I can, okay? But if I don't, I apologize. Anyways, thank you guys so much for this YouTube journey. I'm almost at a thousand. So happy, so, so happy. I appreciate it. So make sure to check out my other videos this channel has a crap ton of stuff to offer and I hope it helps you and if you have any video game suggestions besides Asphalt 8 put it in the comment sections below 
If you have any questions or comments, also put that in the comment sections below. If you hate me, comment in the comment sections below. But I love you guys, okay? So thanks so much.